All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am over here with... Robert. From? King's Auto Shop on YouTube. Yeah. Guys, today Robert is going to be doing something <laughs> freaking crazy. Look at that stack. We are about to go. If you guys don't already know, the Mega Millions is at $1.1 billion right now. And Robert is determined to win this $1.1 billion. Oh. So at least a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. So what are we doing today? We're gonna go buy four hundred dollars in Mega Millions tickets. They're two bucks a piece, and uh, I'll get about two hundred Mega Million quick picks. We'll get two hundred. Two hundred of them. So when we get there, we'll uh, check back in with you guys. How many lottery tickets? Two hundred. Two hundred. Mega All right. Millions. All right. It's uh, I think it was one point one billion last night. Here. All right, so it's gonna be a while because we ordered 200. Watch well, that he ordered 200 Mega Millions tickets, and uh, as you guys can see on camera, the cashier was not thrilled at all. Like she not quit. Yeah, she's like ready to go home after those tickets print. Horrible. <laughs> so um, I guess I'm gonna have to help you go through those numbers tomorrow, right, or tonight? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to like give you 10% or something. Well, yeah, well 10% would be a lot of money. Okay, I'll take that. That's cool. All right. Just help me go through. All right. It's on. It's on camera. You, you see it. You see it. Ten percent of one point three billion. Woo! Lord, you guys will never hear from me again. <laughs> the best trip of your life. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna wait and uh, get our stack of tickets in a little bit. All right. So how long has it been? About twenty minutes. About twenty minutes. I think we're up to about a hundred tickets. So it, you know, he wanted them all in singles. He didn't want to do five on each. He wanted single tickets with, you know, one set of numbers on each ticket. I'm feeling lucky today. Wow. One point, how much? 1.3 billion? Probably 1.3 by, wow. the, by the time they draw it. Wow, and then what do you figure after tax? Maybe 800 million? I think they said 450 million. If they take that much out? What am I supposed to do with 450 million dollars? That's nothing. How can I survive on that? Well, taxes, I mean, it's... Ugh, unbelievable, dude, unbelievable. All right, so we're still waiting. Hopefully it's done soon. All right, guys, here it is. Oh my God. Look at that fat stack of single tickets. That is gonna take a lifetime to check. You're gonna be here all day. You're gonna be here all day. Uh, well, maybe it's worth... Um... 1.3 billion dollars. Exactly, all day <laughs> might be worth 1.3 billion. Yeah, and I got, I'm not gonna show you guys the numbers, but I got my ticket with five separate uh, numbers because I'm not a dick. Yeah, oh, these are all one number a piece. That's five numbers, one ticket. Yeah. So you can get them with one number. And be a pain in the ass, or? Or you can get them with five numbers on one ticket. Right. And I told them I want one number on yeah. every ticket. That lady was cursing you out so under her breath. There's 200. 200 tickets. Wow, 400 bucks. 400 bucks. All right. Let's see, guys. You think he's going to win? They called the winning lottery at, I think, around 9.30 or 10 o'clock tonight. So 9.30. We'll, we'll be up pretty late counting tickets. I don't know. <laughs> we better get another 30 pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at the house. Sam, come over here, Sam. Come a little, okay, come a little closer over here. here. What do you think about Robert buying hey. 200... Mega Millions tickets. You think we're gonna win? 1.3 billion dollars. There you go. And I got my my five numbers right here, so we are ready. <laughs> All right, we're gonna find out, guys. Good morning, guys. I got Robert over here. We're working on the bus today, pulling coils because we're gonna do spark plugs on the bus today to try to get rid of my misfire code. So obviously, as you guys already know, it is a project working on these things because they're tighter than. <laughs> anything <laughs> this is youtube so i have to be nice um so we're gonna get to doing that obviously since we're here working on this bus and i'm not picking out my uh, brand new super c i didn't hit the lottery last night neither did i so we bought robert bought 400 uh 200 tickets and uh we scanned them all how much did you get back 28 bucks 28 dollars and then he bought a scratch off ticket and i won six and he won six so we're stuck doing this. Uh, the, the Super C is on hold for now. So we're going to keep working on this and then I'll check back in with you guys once we start making some more progress. All right, so we just pulled all the coils. We're not sure if this is the one that's misfiring. 
it's looking a little iffy it's looking a little discolored and the tip is a little cracked off we're not sure if the spark was shooting out the wrong way or what um, we're gonna actually do the plugs put the coils back on we're gonna put the two suspect looking ones two coils that look bad on the back that way if they're still misfiring it's probably the coil and we can change it out super easy i uh, just have to go around to the store and get two new coils robert is also pulling out my rear ac compressor we think we think we're gonna try we're gonna see if we can get a belt small enough to uh wrap around because that'll save me quite a bit of weight and it'll also give me a little bit more room in here and if i ever have to get to that coolant line again uh it'll be a little easier to get to so we'll see what happens we got all the spark plugs pulled they all came out super easy so we didn't have any issues with that nothing broke uh all the new ngk iridiums are installed and the boots are back on the front i think we have two that we have to put on on the back we are going to go ahead and pull this compressor uh one it's going to save me a ton of weight this thing is heavy as hell uh plus it's going to open up the engine bay a lot more um we're also going to try to remove this big blue bracket uh, because this has the mounting brackets, the mounting area bolts where a normal AC compressor would mount without this big blue thing. So should open up a lot more working room in here if I ever need to get into something. It'll save a lot more time. So we're going to go run to the store. We have to get a smaller, um, you know, belt because we're taking away this. And we're going to relocate this, I think. So uh, we got to get a smaller belt and one more thing so we got everything bolted back up unfortunately we didn't get the compressor out because we couldn't find the alternator bracket bracket um so that was kind of a pain in the ass so i might have to go order that and then when i come back to robert's house one day or if we meet up on the road we will relocate that i also have to get my hands on a smaller belt we're worried that the sm uh, stores won't have the right size yeah it's pretty long it's like 136 inch belt yeah so uh with all that done the other day when the guy was working on the bus to do the coolant hose he connected the positive terminal and it blew one of my headlights out this one i th think yeah it's this one and i lost that turn signal so we got to pull both of these out and i got to replace them so robert luckily has the little tool it's freaking microscopic somewhere in there i don't know but we're gonna pull both of these out get that done as of right now not I'm trying to jinx it but the check engine light did go off I don't know we'll see what happens but bus is running good solid so let's get those headlights in and then we're gonna go get some texas roadhouse so the bus is all set up i got my new headlight in i got my new blinker bulb in everything is good to go hopefully hopefully robert tied down everything nice and tight bolted yeah, it yeah i got all the bolts all right tight, all right think. good deal so we're on our way to texas roadhouse um i'm gonna feed robert like a, a piece of a salad that's all he eats i'm gonna get a steak Sam's probably gonna get a steak, maybe. Sam? Steak? Yeah. yeah. We're in Robert's new minivan camper. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Soccer he's got his little bed in the back. He's got batteries. He's got solar on the roof. He's putting a Max Air fan in. It's a soccer poppy van. Soccer poppy van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So we're gonna go to Texas Roadhouse and I'll catch you guys there. All right. So everybody got their food. I hope I'm not gonna get flagged for copyright. Real quick, Sam got a baby steak. <laughs> he got a chili. This is his meal for the next three years. Enjoy it. He got a blooming onion. And uh, I got a stick. Where'd my steak go? It wasn't done enough. They took it back. Oh, alright. I got my steak. And uh, it's still slightly pink, but I'm, you know, whatever. I like it well done. Call it what you want. Now everybody else is almost done with their food and I can't. I can't even touch mine yet. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. So we had a good time at Texas Roadhouse last night. Got some good grub. Woke up this morning, ran to Harbor Freight. Picked up one of these nice new Roadshock LEDs um, light bars. This is a 22-inch combo. And it is really nice. They have really good reviews. And today, we're going to be installing it on the bus. Right, Robert? Right. Installing it on the bus. We're just going to slap it on there. A little bit of duct tape. A little bit of duct tape. Yeah, it'll be fine. So it looks like a super easy install. We're gonna be putting it right in this little cutout. It's almost like Ford knew I was gonna put a light bar in there, so they just left this convenient little cutout for me. We're gonna slap it in there. You know, when we go down these back roads or dirt roads or whatever, I mean, sometimes it's so dark, even the headlights are like having a hard time, but this is really nice. So this is a 3800 lumen 
uh, with a 1,210 foot distance of beam. And it's submersible so it can get completely wet. And it's actually a really nice unit. It comes with just about everything, spare fuses. Um, here's some more of the wiring connectors. The only thing it doesn't come with is the switch and everything. So you have to buy that separately. But it comes with the fuse, the amp, the relay, which is a really nice thing to have. I don't think this was much more. I think this was like 25 bucks and this was like 80. But if you hop on Harbor Freight, you can see the reviews. They have really good reviews. We just finished up the light bar install. That's the 22 inch light bar that Robert <laughs> just hooked up. <laughs> I had a name glitch for a second, sorry. So it was a pretty easy install, especially with the whole like light kit like with the switch and everything it was pretty plug and play um robert had to make a couple little um what would you call that adjustments cutouts so yeah. we got the switch running right through the firewall and it comes to right here and it's just a simple on off switch i like that it lights up too when you know it's so you know it's on or not that's pretty sweet pretty excited to show uh show that off during the daytime and the nighttime Especially at nighttime when people cut us off. So I think I'm driving a little Honda so we could blare that in their face. Oh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, Robert, thank you for installing that. I appreciate it. Woo! If you guys are ever in the Kansas City area and you need some work done, Robert's always looking for work. He's yeah. ready to work all the time. Every day. <laughs> so he can do like pretty much everything. Pretty much. Right. Yeah. Hey, let's go to mine. Come on. I'm hungry. Pretty much. <laughs> I got it all ready to go. You just say the word and I come out. And... Yeah, he's like kind of pretty mobile and he's going down to Florida in November. So if you guys are going to be in the Florida area, you can give him your money. I like money. Yeah, he likes money. All right. All right, let's go eat. I'm hungry. All right, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys are all doing great and we'll see you in the next vlog.